We're going to try that again. Hi, it's Beth from Be Style coming to you live again on Thursday to answer your questions and give you any advice. So feel free to join me and drop your questions below. Um, but the question that I get very often as it relates to my seasonal style system, which has gone live for spring, the link is right in the description here. Um, one of the questions I get all the time is, Beth, is it a, you know, is it a war capsule wardrobe? People want to know, you know, is it a capsule wardrobe? What is a capsule wardrobe? And the short answer is no, it's not a traditional capsule wardrobe where you get, you know, a very finite number of items to go out and buy or assemble and then all your outfits for a season are drawn from that mix and match um, wardrobe where you get, you know, pages of different pictures that show, you know, you know, the shirt with this top and this bottom and the shirt with this bottom and this top. And you, um, you know, the, in theory, it's, it's a great idea, but it, it's, I would say it's, it's a spinoff of that. And I'd say it's a lot more, um, I think, useful and realistic and, um, and doable and fun than a traditional, you know, strict capsule wardrobe. The theory behind it, though, is to create more style, have more fun with your, your looks with less stuff and less shopping and less accumulating. But um, it doesn't mean you need to just have the certain, you know, 33 items or 34 items on the list and everything else gets shoved away into a different closet for the season. That's, that's not my intent. My intent is for you to use your entire wardrobe um, and plug and play plug and play into the formulas from your closet. So um, for example, if, if the formula for the day is a pattern top, you might have four or five pattern tops that you love. And if it's in your closet, you should love them. Um, you, you don't have to wear the one that's in the capsule. You can wear any one that you have that you love. And just plug it into the outfit. That's the, that's the theory behind it plus a whole lot more. But um, people ask, well, if I'm having this more, you know, pared down into and finite wardrobe, um, am I, am I going to get bored with my clothes or even women who have a ton of clothes and, and you know who you are, you know who I'm talking about out there when we have a lot of clothes. I mean, I have a lot of clothes. There are, there are times where you, where you wear something and you're like, ah, I'm over it already. Like I wore it once or twice and I'm tired of it. I get bored of things. You know, let me know if you can relate to that where you're just, you get tired and bored of your clothes. Well, there's an easy, answer to that to not getting bored and that is to stop buying clothes that you don't absolutely love you know stop perusing the aisles of tj maxx when you're bored recreationally shopping and grabbing something for 19.99 because it's you know it's a great deal and it's this certain brand that's usually you know 49.99 so look at the savings i'm making and and it's a it's a it's a color that's hot for the season that you feel like I need to have because it's the hot color. So I'll throw it in my cart and go and buy it for $19.99 because so what? It's only $19.99, right? And then you put it on and it's like, you know, it doesn't fit you right. Or the color, even though it's a hot color, it's not a great color for you. It, it collects dust in your closet or you wear it once or twice and then you're over it. And there goes that $19.99. And, there, and there's just another hanger being used in your closet. So that is, that is what we're really trying to avoid. And instead I want, you know, my, I, what I teach and coach people in the program, that's a group coaching program. What I, what I aim for is for you to have to, to, to buy less stuff and more stuff that you love, you know, only buy the things that you love. And maybe that means you're spending more money on the individual item because you absolutely love it because you saw it and you can't get it out of your head and no, maybe it's not on sale you know, God forbid, maybe it's not on sale, but you love it. And, you know, so buy it. That's, that's if, if you can afford it. And if it's, and if you just love it and, you know, it makes sense, but don't just buy things because they're on sale or because someone else tells you, you have to have it. Okay. So, so first way to avoid being bored of your wardrobe is to stop buying things you don't love. Um, and now let's say you are a recreational shopper. Let's say you are being a, you know, a good bee styler and you have your list and your plan and you have certain essentials, let's say, that you need. The next piece of advice is don't settle. Don't just say, um, you know, let's use black pants as an example. Let's just say, well, I, I need new black ankle pants. Don't, don't settle. You know, you don't need them today or tomorrow or even, you know, three days from now. Wait, wait until 
you know, you can get dressed every day without the perfect black ankle pants, for a while at least, until you find the right ones. Try them. It's a lot of trial and error. Get help within the private group that comes with the program to find the right black pants for your shape, for your taste, for the, you know, hold out. Hold out for the right pair. And don't buy four pairs of black pants. Buy one, maybe two, since they're black, that are just right. And maybe you need to invest a little bit more and not buy the really cheapy pair because if it's just eh, then you're not you are going to get bored or you're not going to wear it. Find the, the the item that's that's fantastic that you don't get tired of wearing because if you think of the items in your closet, whether they're those basic essentials or those fun statement pieces, think of the items that you love to wear that, that, you know, you put on and you think, wow, this looks good on me. This is my color or this is my neckline or this, you know, this, these pants make my butt look good or whatever it is. Think of those pieces. Do you get bored or tired of them? No, you don't. Um, so that's your goal, and, and that will reduce that boredom factor and that, you know, fast fashion that, we, you know, buying the, the, the cheapo thing because you see it and you like it and it's on trend and blah, 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 and then you don't wear it. Um, now, that's not to say that you have to, 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 to not shop at what would be considered fast fashion sites like the Amazons or the Old Navies or, you know, places like that. I'm not saying because if, if, if you see something at Old Navy and you love it and it's the color you love or the pattern and you just love it, it just gets you so fired up. It's okay if it's considered fast fashion if you love it. Because, um, so, you know, don't let the, the whole term fast fashion, some, some, of my, some of my favorite pieces would be considered fast fashion because they were bought at one of those retailers. But don't be buying 10 of them. <laughs> don't buy it in 10 different colors or, you know, every pattern it comes in. Then, it, then that is fast fashion. You don't need that. Okay? So we're going we're gonna to buy less stuff and, and focus on buying what you love. And then the next thing that you're going to do that's going to keep you from getting bored is to, to learn how to wear those things in multiple ways. So you're not just wearing that fabulous top that looks great on you with the same pants, same shoes, same blah, blah, blah every time because eventually, as great as it is, you might get bored with it. And it's just, it's just you're not getting all the use that you can milk out of that fabulous piece. Instead, you know, you'll learn how to wear it with different things. And maybe you'll, be, you'll come up with ideas that you had never thought of or never would have thought of. And that's the beauty of this, of this online coaching program. Okay, and it's great for people who are who are kind of shy and don't want to put themselves out there and maybe meet with me one on one or you know virtually. You can do it through this program and get get you know all my wealth of knowledge in the group without having to um, you know even ever ever talk to me in person if you don't want to. Um, it's it's really valuable and um, it's really a huge value in terms of saving you a fortune on all those purchases that I know are we all do I'm guilty of it that you regret that when you look at you think oh what was I thinking just be, it feels awful and and you know so t so take the the money that you would spend on that and spend it on this program for and at $49 it is a steal the members people you know my members who are who come back season after season and I, you know who you are and I love you so much I a lot of them tell me Beth you need to charge more. I get that a lot. You need to charge more because it is so valuable. I mean, an hour of my one-on-one -on -one time is $100. And for, at $49, you have access to me for two months through this program. So, um, you know, within reason, I'm not, you know, and, and th there are parameters, of course. But, you know, if, if, you're, if you've got a hard-to-fit foot, for example, and you need help finding shoes, you just post it in the group. Say, I am a size 8 you know, triple wide and I need my neutral flats and I can't find any help. Um, and, and I will help you and I will find those shoes probably to a fault. I probably spend more time than I should doing that um, given what I'm charging, but it's what I love to do. And it's, it's what brings people back season after season. And the good news is this season 
it's easier to to maneuver the program because it's all on one really slick platform you get in you log in once and then when you go to your computer or go to your phone it's there and you can choose to print things out or you can just look at it on your phone and it's all in one place um, so if you're not on Facebook you don't even need to go to Facebook you can access it all there and then just message me your questions uh, but the Facebook group is really really powerful um, anyway so in addition to everything that comes with the program, and you can see it all in the, in the link there, um, I'm adding three mini courses on the topics that I get asked about all the time. One being dressing your body um, and how to create you know, balance in your body, dressing your body the way it is today, your beautiful, wonderful, flawed body that you have and you live in and you're blessed with today, dressing it today and getting, not waiting, not waiting to, to love your clothes until, you know, you can wear a certain size or you lose a certain number of pounds. No, we're not going to do that anymore. Right? We're not going to wait. We're going to, we're going to dress our bodies today and we're going to love the way we look in our clothes today because it will help you feel better, look better and all that great stuff. Okay. So body type dressing, and this is going to be, for, for dressing your body and your shape in the in the most flattering way possible to achieve balance because that's the goal that's the goal and it's not rules it's not saying pear shaped I can't wear skinny jeans it's not rules like that it's saying okay you're pear shaped you have you know you're smaller on the bottom and smaller on the top and larger on the bottom here's how you can wear skinny jeans here are things you can do with your top so that the skinny jeans are going to look great because if you want to wear skinny jeans okay there's no I don't I don't subscribe to these the, these body type rules and and lists that say this is what you need to wear and this is what you can't wear. I mean there are some guidelines, but I try to be flexible and we're going to talk a lot about that. Number two, accessorizing, and you know I I say it all the time. And if you watched the earlier video, you heard me say it. I think I might delete that one, but um, but I wasn't looking at the camera. But I firmly believe we need fewer clothes, less clothes, and accessories um, because accessories always fit they if you buy the right ones you always love them I mean if you find a necklace you love how often do you decide you change your mind on a necklace unless it was really trendy or really cheap and fell apart and got tarnished but if you have great accessories and not 3,000 of them but a you know a, a collection of great accessories you can always create a, a fabulous look I believe that um, you could almost wear a paper bag and put on a great necklace and you're going to look good <laughs> to some extent. So anyway, we're going to do a little mini course on accessorizing and simplifying it and give you, you know, step by step of this is the best way to accessorize. Accessorizing, that's the second special course included. And number three, a crowd favorite, is finding those shoes that, that work for your feet and that don't wreck your outfit. I say it you can have the best outfit in the world. And if you put on lousy shoes that are frumpy and dorky looking, I'm sorry, there, there, it's, it's, there goes your outfit. It's true. That being said, the, sh the shoe manufacturers are finally coming around and there are options for comfortable shoes. I'm not telling you, sp spoken by someone who, who does have bad feet and they're getting worse the older I get. My father, God rest his soul, had awful, huge, really pained feet and I think those are coming my way but I'm not telling you I used to joke when I was younger and really you know I used to say oh come on just take two two Tylenol and drink a glass of wine and wear the shoes <laughs> that look good no I'm not saying that anymore you know unless they look really good and as a special occasion and you're not going to be on your feet all day but in reality for your everyday shoes you need shoes that fit your feet and that are comfortable that you can walk in and not need to take Tylenol for so we can find them. We will find you those shoes. It might not be easy. It's a lot of trial and error, but those shoes are out there. And I'll show you, you know, with, with these pants, wear this kind of shoe. You don't need a wardrobe of 3,000 shoes or even 20 pairs of shoes. You probably need, you could probably get by with, in the spring, no more than five pairs of shoes. Probably, you could probably do with less depending on your lifestyle and your job and all that. But let's say it's five. But if the key is to find those five pairs of shoes that are versatile, that work throughout your wardrobe, that fit your feet and are comfortable. And that is not an elusive, impossible 
unicorn of a dream. <laughs> and I am determined to get you all into shoes that fit your feet and work and don't hurt. Okay, so that's the third special class. So I hope you'll join. If you haven't already, if you have, you know how much I love you. And I will see you on the inside. But if you haven't joined, please consider doing it. It's going to save you money. It's going to save you time. And it's going to make you look and feel better. So it's short money to do all that. Trust me. Okay? If you don't believe me, read the references. Go, go online and talk to people who you know do this program or in this program and ask them about it. I would encourage you to do that. So I'm going to stop talking now and hope that this video worked. <laughs> Bye for now. Just get dressed.